Friday you were at the front of the bike group, but you yeah. weren't out on your own the way you usually are. No. How did the race play out differently being around everybody else? Um, you know, I, I've, I have a few races under my belt, so I, I mean, I know um, another routine, and I know how to stay out of trouble in terms of like getting caught up with a rolling hill, you know, maybe um, getting into that draft zone. I really tried to stay out of trouble, uh, raced honest, um, kept 10 meters or more the whole day. Um, never once pushed the envelope on that. So, I, I mean, you race enough, you're gonna find yourself in, in, uh, in, a, in a similar situation, maybe not the exact same situation, but you race enough, you're gonna find yourself in a similar situation where you can rely on your experience. And I think I did that today. Is, relied on my experience and uh, I, it really helped uh, especially at the end of the run um, with about three miles to go I said go and then with about 2.9 I said go again and then about 2.8 to go I said go again every about every tenth of a mile just said go again go again and uh, I just wanted to chip away at uh, Jesse's lead so yeah have intentions to race like this in the future rather than trying to build a lead on the swim I will race any which way I have to, um, and I mean, I, I pushed hard in the swim. It wasn't like I was waiting. I didn't. I never played the waiting game. Um, I, that was my push. And everybody, the sport is progressing, and I mean, I need I need to stay ahead of that curve, and and that's my challenge uh, for me. How do I stay ahead of that curve? And uh, maybe it, maybe it takes the. 70.2 to uh, get to the get to the front but I'm glad it's a 70.3